Meantime, a local high school student is also calling for change after he says he's been discriminated against. The teen tells 8 News Now he's been cyberbullied and threatened for about two years after he started a club at school promoting pro-life. And now he's taking legal action. Sasha Loftus joins us tonight with more. Yes, Denise, here's a look at the letter attorneys sent to the Clark County School District this week. The student I spoke with tonight says he resorted to this kind of action to help others avoid what he told me he's gone through. It's been incredibly, you know, stressful for me. High school student Felipe Avila describes what he calls a difficult few years. Oftentimes, you know, I, I just couldn't believe that this was happening. Avila says since he started a Students for Life club on campus here at East Career and Technical Academy two years ago, he's been attacked, bullied, and discriminated against. There have been anonymous accounts that have issued threats that have called for my suicide. He tells 8 News Now he reached out to the school's administration for help multiple times to no avail. I tried as much as I could to, you know, give screenshots, to give information, to hold these students accountable. So he decided to take legal action with help from the Thomas More Society. Their attorneys sent this letter to district leaders Wednesday, claiming the academy is discriminating against the Students for Life Club in violation of federal law. You know, what I want from the school district is to just respect the rights, the constitutional rights of students like me. Felipe hopes to see change here, but he says he didn't just make this move for himself. He hopes to help others also find their voice. I think it's so important that students, regardless of, you know, whether they're left-leaning, right-leaning, pro-choice, pro-life, they, they have a right to speak. Now, I reached out to the Clark County School District about this. They responded over email saying they are reviewing this letter that was sent. We do have a copy of that on our website, 8newsnow.com.